You are not born as a leader. You're chosen to be made one by God. Be excellent. Be simple. Be authentic. Be a leader. You must choose your life journey. Experience a God who's for you. Life is really hard. You know, really more than ever before. The challenges that you're facing, that I'm facing, the adversity, the opportunities, the pressure, social media, email, Facebook, all the stuff that's going on in our life, you know, what's happening with inflation, recession, wars. I mean, I, I want to stop or I would depress you. But you know what? Life is harder than ever before. I know you're like me, that there have been times in my life where I wanted to quit, where I wanted to give up. You know, Dr. James Dobson, he said more ministers resign on Monday than any other day of the week. I'm a pastor teacher here locally in St. Louis, Church on the Rock. And you know what? I say, Pastor Blunt, why would Monday be the day where more preachers, ministers resign and quit? Because it comes after the weekend. They, they had a high, they come down low. Things didn't happen like they wanted to happen. The expectations never came through. All kinds of things. And more preachers quit on Monday and pastors a minute than any day of the week. So we all go through stuff. We all face challenges. I want to help you with that. Right now we're in a three-part series. Last week we began it, you know, on how to build grit. How to build grit. And I gave you a resource by Angela Duckworth entitled Grit. The Power of Passion and Perseverance. The Power of Passion and Perseverance. And you know, I like what up here in the corner it says, psychologists have spent decades searching the secret to success. Now in her book, she brings out that what separates people from being a high achiever to a non-achiever is not their personality. It's not their IQ, EQ. It's not their emotional intelligence. It's not, you know, their education. It's none of that. In her book, she said what sets people afar, apart from each other is grit. Is that amazing? Is grit. People with grit don't quit. They keep getting up. I kind of like that. People with grit don't quit. They keep getting up. They keep persevering. So today is part two that we're talking about this in our series on grit and what it is. So let's just get right into it, how to build grit. I want to give you the definition. Grit means to face adversity and adapt. Not give up, not give in, not get stressed out, not blame, but to adapt, adjust, not to give up. You know, years ago, I asked a mentor of mine, a life coach, he's now in heaven, I asked uh, uh, Dr. Lester Summerall, I asked him one time, I said, Dr. Summerall, what's the key to success? You know, he definitely was a successful businessman and a minister. You know, he had a worldwide television network, TV network. He had a worldwide radio network. He had a large mega church. He was traveling all over the nations with great works over in the Philippines. I mean, amazing, raising up all kinds of great leaders. And I asked him, I said, Dr. Summerall, What's the key to success and longevity in ministry? And he had just wrote this book, and he, looked, he brought it up, and he showed it to me. He said, don't quit. That was the title of his book. Just don't quit. Just keep showing up every day and give your best. I love that. So uh, grit means to face adversity, to adapt, adjust, not to give up, to overcome and keep moving forward into your future. Godly grit. Bible grit. Grit you won't find in the Bible, but you will find the word steadfastness, endurance, and courage. You'll find that in the Bible. Now, we're just going to read through these because you can go back and look at last week, but the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, and 58, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory, gives us the victory. That's a good affirmation. That's a good confession. To go around saying, thanks be unto God. It may look like this, but thanks be unto God who's giving me the victory. You know, people with grit see the end from the beginning. In other words, they have that mindset that's temporary. What I'm going through is temporary, and this too shall come to pass. People with grit have that mindset. But what you're going through isn't going to last forever. There's another chapter beyond this. And how I respond in this chapter determines my next chapter. Let me give you a golden nugget. 
Grit is forged in the furnace of fire. Grit is forged in the furnace of fire. Are you looking for some interactive activities and special events that will help build your leadership and mentoring skills? Or maybe you're just looking for a place where you can network and promote your business. I encourage you, join us at our Marketplace Ministry events. You can visit our website for our upcoming dates and speakers. So thanks be to God who gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. There's our word. Grit. Be steadfast. To be steadfast means you're unmovable. You're not shaken by the news, negative people, cynical people, lukewarm people, lazy people, uh, non-achievers, people who are jealous. You're not moved by adversity. You're not moved by uh, uh, longevity, how long it takes. You're not moved by how hard it is. Faith does the hard thing. So unmovable, always abounding. That's endurance. Endurance takes you forward. Endurance, you let pressure push you. You let pressure push you. Somebody said, a person with grit lets failures cause them to fall forward. I like that. They let failure cause them to fall forward. I said to you last week on our podcast that the road to success, I've been here at Church on the Rock for 40 years, founding pastor. I believe we're very successful, got a long way to go, our best days are ahead, but the road to success is failures. We learn more from, John Osteen used to say this to me, you learn more from your failures than your successes. John Osteen, he's in heaven, he was my pastor. You learn more from your failures than you do your successes. I like that. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. We're going to go on. Romans 15, 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. So if I'm in believing, I got peace and joy. If I'm in faith, I got peace and joy. If I don't have peace and joy, then I'm doing something wrong. If I don't have peace and joy, then I'm focusing on the wrong things. I'm thinking on the wrong thoughts. If I don't have peace and joy, I'm thinking the wrong thoughts. That you may abound, that's endurance, in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Life is hard. Hebrews 10, 36. This is powerful, powerful verse. Hebrews 10, 36. For you have need of patience. What is patience? Perseverance. You know, great dreams take a long time. Did you hear what I said? Great dreams take a long time. You know, I've shared with our staff over the last 40 years that someone comes into town, they plant a church, and it explodes to several hundred to thousands. Fast growth is always adopted. In other words, that quick growth in church, what I do, comes from other churches. If you're winning the lost, it's slower. If you're reaching the unreached, it's a slower growth than when you're just stealing sheep from another church. So notice, if I have a dream from God and it's big, it's going to take a long time and I need to be able to sustain myself. I need to be able to motivate myself. I need to be able to empower myself, encourage myself, because big dreams take a long time. Rome wasn't built in a day. For you have need of patience that after you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. A foundation for grit is faith in the promises of God. A foundation for faith a foundation for grit is faith in the promises of God. Came here, started Church on the Rock 40 years ago. All I had was a word from God. All I had was a promise from God, right? But that was the foundation that I would stand on when I wanted to give up over the last 40 years. And that promise I had from God sustained me. That promise I had from God gave me grit. Oh, I like it. The just shall live by faith. But if any person draws back, quits, retreats. If any person draws back, quits, 
gives up or retreats, my soul will have no pleasure in them. Here it is in the Amplified. For you have need of steadfast patience. There's the word steadfast and the word endurance. What are those words? Bible godly grit. Bible godly grit. What will it take to get you to stop today? That lets you know how strong you are today. What would it take to get you and me to quit today? That reveals how strong we are today. Steadfast means you're not going to quit, no matter how hard or difficult it gets. Endurance means you're going to keep moving forward, adapting, adjusting, correcting, and overcoming, and moving forward to your future. Keep growing your skills with Pastor David Blunt's weekly Leadership Lifter. On our website, you will find more uplifting teachings, book recommendations, and other lecture materials that will bring fulfillment to your life. Also, on the website, you can purchase Pastor Blunt's books, as well as his upcoming release, God is for You. You have need of steadfast patience and endurance so that you can perform and fully accomplish the will of God. So without grit, I can't fulfill the will of God. Did you hear me? Without grit, I can't fulfill the will of God. Kind of goes back to, again, don't forget to pick this up, Angela Duckworth, grit. You know, she said the secret is grit between losers and winners, achievers and non-achievers, overcomers and those who are overcome. The key is grit. And here we read in the Bible, Hebrews 10, 36, that if I'm going to accomplish the will of God, if you're going to accomplish God's dream for your life, you're going to need grit. And thus receive and carry away joy to the full what God has promised. And God has promised you an abundant life, an overcoming life, a victorious life, a meaningful life, a worthwhile life. Oh, I like it. Verse 37. For still a little while, a very little while, and the coming one will come, and he will not delay. It's coming soon, Hebrews said. Verse 38, but the just shall live by faith. My righteous servants will live by conviction, respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, holy favor born out of faith. And they don't draw back, and they don't shrink in fear. My soul has no delight or pleasure in those who quit and give up, because of fear or difficulty. Big thoughts. I want to give these to you today before we end our podcast. Big thoughts. Number one, let pressure push you forward. Some of you need to write these down on a three-by-five card or a yellow sticky note. Put them in your mirror in your bathroom. Put them in your car. Put them in your office. Put them on your computer. Let pressure push you forward. And the Bible says in the last days, there's going to be more pressure than ever before, that the devil is going to try to wear us out, keeping us busy. Number two, use adversity to advance. Use adversity to advance. Michael Jordan called it his dark side. Michael Jordan called it his dark side. What's the dark side? He said he took all the people that said he'd never make it, Michael Jordan, all the people said he'd never accomplished anything. And he said that fueled him, that empowered him, that he was going to show them up, that he was going to show them wrong. Use adversity to advance you. Number three, big thoughts. Learn from every failure. The road to success is loaded with failure, right? We learn more from our failures than our success. So you want to learn from every failure. If I don't learn from my failures, I'll repeat them. If I don't learn from my failures, I'm going to lose. I'm going to start going downhill. So I want to learn from every failure, right? Then number four, see setbacks as setups. People with grit have the right perspective. See setbacks as setups. And number five, grit is forged in the fire. Grit is forged in the fire. Number six of seven, behind every problem, big thought, behind every problem is a promotion. David and Goliath in the Bible, big problem, Goliath. But behind it was the kingship. On the other side of your adversity, on the other side of your problem is your promotion and your provision. So don't give up. Don't quit. 
Persevere. Be passionate. Focus on your purpose. Stand on the promises of God. Number seven, see the end from the beginning. See the end from the beginning. I hope I added value today to your life. If I did, press like and share. That helps us reach more people. And so we'll continue this next week. And I want to encourage you to work on that grit and keep building that grit.